I think growing up, um, I had one view of what beauty was, and that was mainly because of what I saw in television and what I saw in the old Miss South Africans, funny enough. I love it um, because it's more inclusive of the, the multifacetedness of women. In my opinion, I think that changing beauty standards is such a global breakthrough and it couldn't have come at a better time. It's about freaking time that the standards change. The definition of beauty has become so broadened. Since I was growing up, there was only a specific kind of beauty, but now everything can be beautiful when it's looked at by the right person. And that is exactly what Ms. Essay is looking for, and that is why I'm so proud to be part of this organization. Women will only be equal when... When we start treating ourselves as equals when we believe that we are equal to men. We stop um, comparing them to male ideals. When half the positions of leadership are occupied by women. Women will only be equal when we don't have to ask that statement or that question. I think the fact that we're still bringing that to the forefront is such a big problem because it shows there's something missing, it shows there's a gap. So the day I don't have to hear that anywhere being asked is actually the day when I know we are fully equal as women. Well, my Miss South Africa journey has to be just an opportunity of a lifetime. I've had the privilege of doing it in 2018 and in 2020, and I would not trade it in for anything in this world. Whew, great memories only. Um, beautiful, interesting, um, the best experience of my life. Um, the one word for me, that's two actually, is eye-opening. <laughs> I loved my Miss South Africa and I always say it has been the best time of my life. That is when I have lived my best life. If anything, it's shaped me into the woman that I am today. And the moment I stepped into my power. I never thought I could enter Miss SA because I thought I wasn't poised enough. Because I didn't feel like I was good enough. How am I going to do this? I've got no experience. Women as short as I am, we're never represented. I'm a dark-skinned woman and growing up, you know, we're told that being dark-skinned means you're not beautiful. I don't know how to answer questions. I don't know what it means to be a pageant girl. I thought I was too introverted. And then you walk into this competition and you just realize that you being yourself is enough. I think the biggest change I saw um, within myself after this essay was how much calmer I became and how much more confident I became as a person. I think my self-confidence grew immensely. Um, I had dreams, um, part of the dreams were to be in South Africa, but it's funny how when you're in South Africa, you realize, yes, South Africa is a great dream, but they encourage us to dream greater than South Africa. Before South Africa, I could have never thought about speaking in front of a large group of, group of people and telling them my story and telling them who I am as a person. My confidence. It's definitely been my confidence. Um, I have this thing, even now sometimes when I'm sitting, you'll find that I play with my hands. But before I can even look into the camera, I couldn't even speak the way that I do. Uh, people say that you're a great speaker, I'm great this, but they don't understand how I was never that person. It was the belief and conviction that I had in myself. The biggest change was confidence. And I gained a lot of focus. So now I'm even dreaming my supranational. I'm dreaming political things that I never thought about. So the greatest change in for me was confidence in myself and belief that I can actually occupy bigger spaces. To be a great woman means to be yourself. The world is so large, you know, constantly on social media, in the news, we are bombarded by things that are happening within the world about people's opinions and what people think we should be as women and what we should be doing. And I think what makes a great woman is that once you can tap into a space where you're not listening to what everyone is saying, but you're actually piecing together what it means to be, what it means to be a woman for yourself. Stay true to what you believe in and know your values and know who you are. Being a great woman is believing in yourself more and going after anything and everything that you believe that you are worth. And I believe that a great woman lives inside each of us. We just have to believe it for ourselves and seize the opportunity. If you can have a strong mind, if you can have a strong conviction as, as to what, how you see the world and form your own opinions, because it's very easy to be influenced by other people, it's very easy to be influenced by other people's ideas. But if you can take everything that is being said, 
compartmentalize it and figure out what it means to you, form your own opinion, you will never, ever, ever be derailed. And that is what I think it means to be a great woman, to have your strong mind, to have a strong opinion, but also be willing to listen and learn. How have I faced my power? I'm facing it right now. <laughs> I'm facing it right now. I face my power also just to realize that I've got such more to give and I've got so, so much more to offer. After my Mr. Say journey, I believed in myself so much that I went after everything and anything that I believed that I was worth. Growing up, I placed a lot of limitations on myself. I just wanted to be a doctor and that was it. And going into Miss Essay, I realized that I could be so much more than that. My favorite quote is that one that says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, but it is that we are powerful beyond measure. And in entering with South Africa, you are fearful to enter, but that's only because you're scared to face your power. I use this platform to open a business and to start a new business um, where I'm selling healthy food and to educate people how to eat healthy, but still in a fun and a sustainable way without having to diet. I made sure that I used the platform um, to and the exposure to better myself. And I don't want anyone to feel the limitations that I felt on myself. Never ever limit yourself. The sky is your limit and reach for all your dreams. I think I faced my power when I decided to live instead of live in fear. The day I entered the South Africa, the last thing I said before I submitted my video was, what do I have to lose? And today I sit here talking to all of you, knowing that I had everything to gain. And that's because I faced my power, knowing that yes, there could be failure, but the possibility of success, but the, even, the, even the courage to try, that's it. That's the magic right there. And, and yeah, I face my power by sitting here. I'm sitting here and that's how I face my power.